My name is Dr. Henrietta Bowden-Jones. I'm a consultant psychiatrist and I'm the director and founder of the National Problem Gambling Clinic. It was only having become a psychiatrist that I decided to study neuroscience and did an MD at Imperial College. I particularly was interested in addictions, which is what I ended up uh, specialising in. Gambling disorder, as it is known, is much more acknowledged nowadays in, by society in general and indeed by academic establishments. There is more research happening in this country. There are treatment centres. And so the NHS has really opened its doors to the idea. And it is really in this last uh, very recent strategy, a uh, five and ten year strategy, that they have committed to supporting this illness fully at national level. Gambling disorder has some commonalities with other addictions, uh, people with substance misuse and alcohol disorders, but also gambling and gaming, they're all highly impulsive compared to the general population. But the presentation of the symptoms is far greater. So there are commonalities in the harm that people experience, in the isolation they experience because of their addiction. There is a lot of work that still needs to be done in protecting the general population, in particular young people who are more impulsive, uh, from gambling advertising and all sorts of immediate opportunities for spending money on gambling. The issue is that as things become faster and more available, whereas in the past a person would have to leave their home, uh, nowadays people are gambling on their phone a lot of the time. It's not even their laptop. That It can be as secretive as just pretending to be making, uh, texting someone and instead you are gambling. My time at Imperial has uh, been precious. It wasn't just the enormous satisfaction of spending intellectual time, academic time on neuroscience, but it was also the fact that for the first time I was able to properly uh, apply the methodology of research at a higher level uh, than for the initial sort of research fellowships that I had received through Imperial when I was more junior. The MD really made me feel that I had broken some ground and in doing so um, had uh, given me the self-esteem to push on with my career in a way that I sincerely do not feel I would have done if I hadn't had that badge of quality, let's call it that. That's how it felt. And that's how it was received by so many people.